Hi, this is Ron Perio of Lancelo Video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to screen record on a PC in OBS and then edit in DaVinci 17. Obviously, you can go to obsproject.com and download the software from there. Let's go straight into OBS Studio. Now that we're in OBS, the first thing we need to do is look at sources, what the scene is. A scene is a list of inputs. So whether it is a screen, a video screen, or a microphone. So we can set up as many scenes, but in this example, we'll be setting one. Okay, so let's dive right into it. The first thing we're going to add a source. It's going to be our display capture. We can call this primary, hit okay. We have two display monitors here, as you can see. I'll be using the first one. We also have to remember to click on this capture cursor, hit okay. So as you see here, we're getting this duplicating effect here because we are recording on this primary monitor. In order to do a screen recording of a screen recorder, you'll have to use another software. And right now I'm gonna be using Camtasia to uh, record this video. So I have to use a different microphone. So I'll be adding my webcam as my recording for microphone. Testing one, testing one, two, one, two. So as you can notice, we are using a webcam microphone. It's running a little bit into the red, so we want to bring it down. Testing, testing. Okay, so we can hit more of the green, not the red, because red will make distortion. So moving from left to right, we'll notice a scene of transition. We will be talking about scene transitions because we're not going to be using a webcam as a video. Sometimes you want to use your webcam as a video for another screen, but we won't be doing that. So let's go on into our setting. So let's go right into setting. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go into output, go into your recording path and make sure that this is exactly where you want it to go. So I already have it set up here. Now we go into record quality. We have high quality, quality large files, or tremendously large, which will lose quality. So we'll go somewhere in the middle and we'll click on uh, quality with large size. Now we're going to record format. As you can see, if you go into MP4, the problem here is that if you lose your power, you will not be able to recover your file. So most people go into MKV, which goes straight to the hard drive as we're recording. So we just go to MPK. Next is the encoder. Uh, you just find what your video card is. Mine is a NVIDIA. Next, we go into video. Now we have the resolution. I can go higher on this, uh, 2560 by 1440, uh, if you want to go higher, but I like the standard 1920 by 1080 for both resolutions here for input and output scale. Most people downscale filter is by cubic, uh, that's standard. So you want to be mindful of your frames per second. The reason why I normally set this to 30, because you're, if you add any other additional footage like B-roll, you want to match your frames per second. So it looks like our setup is complete. And all we have to do is hit our start recording. And I'll just go ahead and bring this down so you can see what I'm recording. This is my desktop. Here's Camtasia. And we'll open up OBS again. And then we'll just hit stop recording. Okay, so let's start searching for our video. I saved it under my E drive, and it goes to Rough Draft. And here it is, you can see how it's MKV. It also tells us the date. Now, a nice little feature of OBS is if you forget where you saved your recordings, you can just go to Show All Recordings and look for the one you did for that particular day. And as you can see, I found it right away because it's an MKV. So we can't incorporate MKV files into DaVinci Resolve, but OBS will be helping us out here. So we'll close this. So we go into File, Remix, Recordings, click the three dots here, look for our file, which is right here, MKV, hit Open, click on Remix, Remux, and the recording was saved as a mp4. We'll go back to our folder and you can see same date, differences, it's an mp4. So now we can transfer this file into DaVinci Resolve. Now let's open up DaVinci Resolve 17. 
Okay, so all you need to do is go to their website and download the free version. Once we open up Dissolve, you'll notice that there's a database here. Let's not get alarmed because we're only going to be using our local database and not going to be adding other databases. As you see, I've made other videos, but we'll just go ahead and do a untitled project. Okay, so here we are within DaVinci. This may be daunting at first because everything may look different and new than anything else you've seen before, but trust me, once you start using it, you won't want to use anything else. So we'll go right into it. Our buttons below, we'll see Media Cut, Edit, Fusion. We don't need to talk about Fusion Color right now. We'll just go straight into Edit. And most likely, we'll have our Media Pool opened, but if it's not open, we'll just click on it. And this is the exciting part about DaVinci with there's so many options here. We have effects library, we have sound library. On the right here we have mixers. For me it's exciting because it was new and there's so many options we can do with DaVinci. So let's just go right into media pool. So most of the time we're going to be doing our editing down in here in our timeline and our preview windows. So to, to pull in your media we can just go into our saved folder and just drag it into there. We can just drag our media file into the media bin. Another option is just right click import media if you have other videos that you want to import all at once. Right now we'll just go ahead and drag our video into our media pool. Now you look at this pop-up. What DaVinci is saying that normally we're going to be it's going to be setting your frame rate to 24 frames per second. As I said earlier, we want to keep our frame rates consistent with all our videos. So obviously, we'll go ahead and hit change because my videos are 30 frames per second. Nice about DaVinci is we can have different settings for the way we want to see our videos. Okay, so if we go to the bottom right hand corner, so as you can see here, the timeline and our playback is set to 30 because that, what we, that is what we set when we carry the videos over. Okay, so now I've already dragged my video into the display window. It is showing my primary display. But if I wanted to show both my scrubbing and my preview windows, then I could just hit this button to the top right. So like I said, the left is typically where you're going to be scrubbing your videos that's imported. And the right side is the preview from your timeline. So what's great about DaVinci is that you can actually preview your video on the left and actually cut pieces of it before you start editing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume down so you won't hear any of my voice. And just preview where I wanna begin editing. And I'll just stop right about here. So what I can do here is set my in and out points. So if I can go ahead and click on I. So this is where I wanna set my input. And we have options here. I can hit the space bar to start moving the playback, or I can just hit the playback button. But it's easier just to hit the space bar. Once we find our output, we can just click on O. And you notice now we have our input and output of the video we want to start editing. Now, of course, if you just want to bring in video, video is great for just B roll, which I'll be showing you later. So right now I'll just bring in both video and audio. And of course, if we want to just add audio for music or sound effects, we can just bring that down as well. And we, then another option is to drag it over to the right and here are our options. Insert over right, replace. If you can't remember any shortcuts, we can always go into file or edit and you can have the options here if you don't remember your shortcuts. Now of course everyone has their own workflow you can edit this way but for me I'm just going to drag the whole video down and edit. Uh, I'd rather do that than just do the in and out so we'll just go ahead and mark and clear our in and out and I'm just going to drag the entire video down. So we have our video and our audio tracks. And by hitting Shift Z, we can just see our complete video here, or we could just pull it across. Control Z to 
remove, alt, and scroll to zoom in and out, or we can just use these plus and minus on the top right here to zoom in and out. Now a nice little feature is for our timeline is click on this button here for different view options. I like to so show multiple clips, so I usually use the first one. Like I said, it's a workflow issue. If you want to see your different displays on videos, single or multiple timelines, you can just hit video, video view options. And we also have our video height and audio height, which is a nice feature to have. You could do it manually or do it through our little icon here. Now don't be alarmed if you do not see your waveform. Uh, this is a user error. You just basically have to click, remember to click on your waveform. Sometimes you'll forget that you actually have the length over to the left and you have no waveform, even though your button here is checked. You want to make sure that the height of the audio is bringing in your waveform. A couple other key shortcuts is to hit the spacebar to go through your video, or you can hit shift and move frame by frame with the arrow keys. So there's another option we want to make sure we have on to make our editing easier, is if we go into timeline and select selection follow playhead so if we go ahead and play through our video you'll see the playhead is following where our edits will be going oh yeah just insert if i insert here as you can see the playhead follows where my edits are going to be so i hit Control z to remove the edits so this is one of the basic editing tools for DaVinci and do the ins you look for the arrow to the left you can actually start trimming your video. So what I've expected is it that it would actually trim my audio as well but we only did our video. Okay so this is an easy fix we just have to click on our linking We'll just go ahead and now it's clicked on both audio and video. And as you can see, we're editing both video and audio by clicking on this chain link. Previously, it was only doing the video. Can't stress this enough to have this link checked because you want to have your audio and video in sync. That is the basic of editing. So as you can see, there's a gap here. All we need to do is right click and delete, ripple delete, and that'll get rid of that space. Okay, so DaVinci has its editing tools up here on the top left. We can also just hit the B to edit mode, or we can just click on it. Once again, this is a workflow issue. Uh, some people like to just double, some people like to click, uh, others like to use shortcuts. I like to do a little bit of both, but sometimes I'll just do the select mode and then click on my editing tool here to start cutting. Okay, so let's do some basic editing by clicking on our blade here, start cutting. Go back to our selection tool and 90% of what you're going to be doing is between the blade and the selection tool. And you also want to start hitting your play to review what we have here in our display window and that would help us with our editing on the bottom which will be our final video. So here comes the fun part. We go ahead and do effects library and start adding our transitions. Uh, I'll go ahead and use drop warp, put it on the clip, which is where our two clips that we have a cut. And if we go ahead 
and play through on the right you can see that the there's drop effect drop warp effect if we wanted to just do cross dissolve you can also do that as well cut here if you right click you can uh, you can also add how long you want your fade what's great about DaVinci is the bins. Obviously, we already have our video, we have our audio, but we actually add some images and B-rolls to our bins that make DaVinci very unique. So let's go ahead and start adding uh, some B-rolls. As you can see here, I have a B-roll video. And if you also want to add images, you can add in images as well. So if I wanted to fade into this clip, we just go once again, go back to our effects library. I'll use brightness flash, add it to the third video. And you can see our preview window is showing the brightness flash. And of course, once again, if we wanted to add titles, we go into effects library, along with video transitions, we can do titles. And we can bring them down to our video. This is our default left, lower, third, middle, right. Uh, you can add your own text. These are basically our default titles. Okay, so if we're happy with our edits and pleased with how things ended, we have to go to our, which is different from most editing applications, we hit the deliver button. We can upload it to YouTube, or we can just uh, save it is and upload it later. So what we do here is we click on 1080p, you'll see the resolution of our video, the frame rate. Once again, we could browse and uh, save our video to where we want it to go. Okay, and then once we're done with that, we can just go ahead and click Add to Render Queue. And you can see here on the right, it's going to bring our project to the right. And all we need to do is hit Render All. And it's rendering progress. You can render everything, you have multiple projects in this queue here. For instance, if you wanted to add a different format, you could as well. And then render everything to the right here. So this gives you an idea of my workflow in using OBS to record my screen, bring the output into DaVinci, do some editing, add titles, B-roll adjustments, and later on I'll show you some more editing techniques within DaVinci using our Zoom feature.